one. Roma. Because we live in a South Africa that is for all. Amen. Amen. Let me say a few things. Johannesburg needs change. Yes. Johannesburg can't keep going the way it's going. Yes. Johannesburg needs change. Yes. You see, we can't have people living in backyards like they're living right now. Yes. We can't have our roads breaking down because you know when they're breaking down, we can't have jobs. Yes. We can't have the water that has been wasted from rainwater before it gets to you. Yes. We can't have the people of Johannesburg living in poverty. Yes. We need to vote for a government that will bring change. Yes. You see, it's not right. Yes. When we walk the streets, you know it's all of England and And I see the people as they're walking around. I want to be a support. They don't have food, Aban. And then you know what the people tell me? But you know, by sneaking Malinyana, your social crime, go to Aban, by Zalapesu. The other people who are getting more money than what is supposed to be allocated is because of the corruption. Change must come. Come in. So tell Aguti on the 18th of May, we will get a government. That is corruption free. Yes. You know how we are going to do that? We are going to invite every single one of you yes. that every tender that is allocated, yes. that every mayoral committee meeting, you can have the freedom to send somebody to listen yes. so that nobody can put something in the backyard. Yes. Yes. Corruption must come to an end. Yes. Who's yes. to be? Yes. Somebody said to me, Zolo, why should we shift from voting the way we've always voted instead of voting for somebody new. Yeah. Yes. And I told them, Ma, it's more fun to pay up coming. Keep voting the way you've always voted. Yeah. But if you want change, you must have the courage to say, the old is gone and the new has come. Yes. Come I mean, we've got to look to tomorrow. The second thing that we have to do is we have to make sure who is here Lungisa, wherever we can. We must live in a clean city. Yes. So that your ward councillor, Beverly, that you know her right here, must be here. So I am asking you, Lynette, <laughs> to lend us your vote for the next five years. So that if we do not deliver it over, you can take your vote back. But as we are sitting here, we know that things are going to get better if you put the DA in power. Yeah. In 2023, we must make sure that you get the right bills like Joe Beck. Yeah. Gone are the days where we get the wrong bills. Gone are the days they must come to an end. Yeah. We can't live in a Johannesburg that does not trust its city. Yeah. 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 Well, love day. We're going to put a council close by you, a sub-council, yes. yes. so that you can come and walk in there and say, my street, my house, my shack, my life is no longer working. Let's fix it. So, a lot of people are saying to me, what are the chances? I'm going to whisper something to you and say this to you. Tell everybody. Tell your cousin. Tell your aunt. Tell everybody in a text. Tell everybody in a kuku, tell everybody in a home, tell everybody in a stadium, tell everybody wherever that change is coming. Tell them. Tell them today, Uti, on May the 18th, they must show up and vote DA if they want a better life for all, not for some. Pambili, DA, Pambili. Go and vote. Get up in the morning on the 18th of May and take everybody with you and let us vote for change, for change is coming. Pamil! Viva Mercy, viva! Viva! viva.